Hi, I'm Jessica Bell, and believe it or not, we're in front of where California Wine found its start. We're actually in Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin at the Wollersheim Winery, and right behind me is the wine cellar that was built in the 1840s by a Hungarian count. He thought this would be a great place for growing grapes. After a very cold winter, he went west looking for gold, eventually became the father of California wine, but he sold that wine cellar to one of his employees, a, a German family, and they lived in that wine cellar as the Wollersheim Winery was being built. So today we're going to actually talk to Julie and Philippe, the owners of Wollersheim Winery, about this wonderful place. Hi Julie. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. Wow. You trying some of the grapes? Yes, these are St. Pepin. And what are you going to use these grapes for? Uh, these will be used for our ice wine. Okay, and when, when will you uh, actually harvest them? Uh, we'll pick them beginning of December and uh, all of the flavors and the sugars will have been concentrated. So it's okay. very concentrated and flavorful wine. Well, these aren't the only grapes that you have on, on your land. Can you show me a little bit more of uh, sure. what you guys are doing? Go take a walk. Okay, thanks. So this is beautiful land. Who had the eye to, to pick this land out for grape growing? Um, actually, Augustine Herazzi back in the 1840s. And then my family, uh, the Wallersheim family, purchased a property in 1972. And since, you have taken over the reins. Right. In, in 1984, my husband came from uh, Beaujolais, France, oh, okay. originally as a training um, student, and uh, my father ended up asking him to stay. And, and so he did became you, the winemaker. And you asked him to stay as well. And then I asked him to stay too. We were married two years later. Okay. You must be Philippe. Hey. I'm Jessica from Wisconsin nice Foodie. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. You don't sound like you're from around here. Well, I used to say Chicago. Oh, no. Chicago. <laughs> Definitely a Chicago accent. Yeah, oh, I think a little further from Chicago. Where well, are you from? Uh, southeast France. Okay. Actually in Beaujolais region. That's sure. where I grew up. Very, very rich uh, tradition in winemaking in Beaujolais as uh, well. A lot. That's... When I grew up, there is no cornfield or no cows. Everything is vineyard. Okay. Uh, my family has been in the wine industry for about 400 okay. years. This one is called Prairie Red. You know, we always talk about uh, from the ground to the glass because sure. the ground is involved and gives its taste to the wine through the terroir and so on. Definitely has a Beaujolais-esque-ness to it, if that's even Very a word. Right, but yeah. definitely fresh fruit and um, mm -hmm. lots of red fruit, strawberries and, and mm -hmm. raspberries and um, almost and that, that uh, real um, uh, almost bubblegum kirsch. Uh, fruit on That's it. the beauty of Fosch. Um, so can we take a look at the salad? Absolutely, we go and you should taste the Domaine Reserve I, out of the uh, barrels. I won't object to uh, that. Let's uh, do that. Good. Okay. So this is the, the Domaine Reserve and it looks like we're in French oak right now. And this is the 08. Mm -hmm. And um, do you use all French oak? No, we use uh, American oak as well as French oak for okay. the Domaine Reserve and Domaine du Sac. I mean, this is, I feel like I'm back in uh, France or the old world with this amazing wine cellar. Who built this? Uh, actually, this was built uh, maybe before the building was completed. This might have been the first part of the construction. Yeah, the, they knew it was important. Where are we going to put the wine? <laughs> Where we make the wine. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> to keep all the workers happy. That's what they had to take care of first. Well, look at the color on this. This is gorgeous. This is got um, a purple ruby, um, real deep color to it. And you know, that's what 35 years old vine do. Exactly. You, know, you get this. this concentration of color and flavor. Uh, so this is from this year. Uh, is there one that we can see what the oak has done? So maybe one from last year? Yeah, we'll try it out of the bottle. Okay, sounds want. good. Yeah. Let's All go. Right. So we've uh, seen the wine in the barrel and then it goes into bottle. And what's going on here? Well, this is where we do uh, uh, all the, the waxing, the end. Can I help you out? Yeah, Can I do a ahead. couple for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's the what's so the secret here? So what you do, here? you dip it into the wax like that. Okay. And then you let drip the excess. Okay. Yeah, you're all pro. You know? Oh well, you can yeah, put me to work here. Yeah, I can, can uh, yeah, help you out a little. <laughs> uh, I will guide <laughs> but you. But I, I take my payment in wine. You oh, you do? That. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh. Well, we'll go. How'd I do? We'll get broke. Not bad. Right? No, I'll, I'll drink you out of business. Um, so, you know, it's interesting with these uh, wax tops, they're beautiful and actually they're a lot easier than um, a foil top because you don't have to cut any foil. Most people want to take a, a wine key and really chip away at it. You don't have to. Yeah, you right. just have to put a, yeah. a corkscrew in there and it'll come out beautifully. So, would you like to taste it? Heck yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> 
So we've gone from ground, hopefully soon to glass. This mm -hmm. is the, the Domain Reserve 2007. So this is what was harvested back in 07. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna give it a, a we're gonna pop it open. And I think that's one you waxed. This is the one, oh, this ah. is the one I waxed. All right, yeah. we'll see if my um, my advice comes true on camera. Let's hope so. I know I, I know the wine inside is good. Okay, oh, <laughs> so, you're, you're not accountable oh, for the wax, right? Just that job. Uh, see? Yeah. You definitely yeah. get a, a nice round uh, cut on nice it. Nice and clean. Well, let's, let's give it a I try. I will do the honor. Thank you very much, Philippe. It is a little bit lighter Ooh. than the 08, you know. What a difference from yeah. the 08, One though. year of aging. Yeah, the 08 was tons of fruit and just mm -hmm. real, a lot of fruit, a lot of primary aromas now. And yeah, the we're spiciness. A lot more spice. Smokiness of the cedar, soil. And smoke, cedar, smoke, yeah. definitely, without mm -hmm. a doubt. It's got um, lots of complexity. It's got lots of different fruits. Like you said, the mulberry, mm -hmm. the blackberry, the black currant. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more of a higher acid red berry mm -hmm. or blackberry. Yeah. And then you get that nice um, uh, French oak spice, a little bit of vanilla spice from the American mm -hmm. oak. And then a real refreshing finish. Um, and it, you can tell it's high quality in 35 year old vines because the flavor just lingers in your mouth. Forever. Well, thank you very much, Philippe. We're here at Wollersheim drinking the Domain Reserve 2007 from ground to glass. I'm Jessica Bell. Thanks for watching.